Alright, here we go. Last video of Destroy All Humans 1. Attack of the 50 Foot President. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, what is that? That Pia sure is stand big. stand at the seat of all human power, and they're turning over the keys to the whole planet! Our victory is complete! The victory is complete. Well, not really. Not really. Once you figure out there's more people than just the people of this crummy planet. No more blowing stuff up. Oh, the Furon Emperor will be most pleased. Yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to believe. That's hard to believe. All right. So what? what? Will Smith is behind this mask. I guarantee it. Silhouette, I presume. You don't look like it, General. You don't look like a little green man. Thank you. So, waving the white flag, huh? All the monkeys got together, scratched their heads, accepted the inevitable. That sense of humor. Just like your... Like my what? Uh, bio. Your dossier, Crypto. Said you were quite the Joker. I think Joker. I never told you my name. No, I suppose I have your brother to thank for that. Sir? Yeah. Oh, now my jetpack actually does something more than just fly straight. And now we have the revelation that Silhouette is actually a hot-ass chick. <laughs> You're a chick? I'm a patriot. If you had to put up with politicians playing grab ass all day long, you'd wear a mask too. Me, I get my kicks the old-fashioned way, beating up bad monkeys. Funny, that's just what Crypto136 said. Of course, he was a real cut-up, too. Well, so much for Plan A. Huh. What's what was that? What was Plan A? That, my gender-deprived friend, is Plan B. The end of your insidious invasion. A champion... I am going to crush you with my titties. The greatest of <laughs> the mind of the 20th century. Oh, great. The greatest weapon ever built by man. It's Liberty Prime! He's invaded from Fallout. The Robo Prez! Robo Prez, alright. Not, not Liberty Prime, okay. If elected, I promise to destroy all Furon! That is seriously messed up. Robo Prez! Dirty tricks mode! Aw, oh, man! Now I'm gonna get my suitor. Huh? Turn on you glory hounds, you wanna live forever? Let's stop that little commie. Find him, neutralize him. Uh, okay, can you let me get my saucer first? Thank you. <laughs> I'm not fighting one of you on foot. Well, not yet at least. Oh, I'm gonna have to find lots of health packs for this battle. Alright. All right, Robo Prez, you want a little piece of me? You got it. What? I thought I destroyed those electric things. Really? Unless 
I can destroy this building. Get some rockets and stuff from it. I'm trying to destroy these defenses on the ground in order to survive. Now. Man, I love the smell of presidential brains in the morning. Just remember who set that giant potus of destruction upon you. Right. Huh? You know who I mean. Oh, that silhouette guy, right? Uh, or chick. Huh. Could you do me a favor and not freak me out? Sure. In any case, he, I mean, she ran from the capital. I lost sight of him. Her. Silhouette. Near the... Attention, Furans! Uh -oh. Attention, Furans! Is this thing on? Oh, whatever. Huh. I know you little gray freaks can hear this. I'm sure you're out there listening. Just sitting there. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> it seems only fair. Credit where credit is due. You did it. You beat my beautiful robo -prez. And now you're probably sitting around fantasizing about destroying all the humans. Typical. Sure you handled the boys, Armquist Hoffman. Oh, that was a challenge. <laughs> but everybody knows which sex is dominant on this planet. There's still plenty of time to get your asses handed to you. That is, if you're not too scared to fight a girl. Oh, then she wants me to fight on foot. I'm not going to hold you down. <laughs> so come on, Crypto. Let's dance. I'll even let you lead. I'm at the octagon. Don't keep me waiting. Oh, great. land and take this bitch out once and for all. Alright. I don't have all the upgrades for my other guns, but that's okay. I have triple shot on the disintegrator. That's all I need. Tuh, nice ass. Oh, she's got dual, dual pistols or whatever the hell those things are. Take her out. She has all these soldiers helping her.
Oliver sends his regards. I'll show you who there. I'm actually gonna kill you assholes. <laughs> Deep boom. Here you go, and I'll kill that asshole behind you too. Oh, it's a do with the rocket. How does she keep getting all of her health back? Oh, I gotta destroy that thing right there. There we go. How do you like electricity? Oh no. with a robot at her.
<laughs> Whew, all right. Game over. You beat me. I can't believe you actually beat me. They never do. You know, you don't look so hot. Majestic. We'll never give up the struggle to resist you, alien freaks. Struggle's over, babe. Hurons won, human zipperoni. You think you won? You think <laughs> America is the only human civilization on Earth? That's what all the Americans seem to think. What? They were calling you a communist the whole game. <laughs> A communist In a is. Sect. There are three billion people on this planet. Not in my day and, and age. everywhere there are humans. There is majestic. Sorry, doll face. Without you, majestic's just a bunch of dudes in crappy black suits. Majestic. Empty. Twelve. Twelve. All over. Oh. Twelve? Twelve what? Twelve countries? Twelve organizations or something? <laughs> Attention humans, I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Huron. This planet is now a territory of the Huron Empire. <laughs> Resist this. And he squishes her. President's alive! Really? I don't think so. Let's see what he has to say. Good evening, my fellow Americans. In recent days, rumors have run rampant of flying saucers, alien invaders from other worlds, indeed, of my own demise. <laughs> the truth is, America has been attacked, not by little green men, but red. And our invaders are most definitely of this earth. Despite the efforts of this administration, our nation has been infiltrated by communists. Oh. Their conspiracy, details of which are only now coming communists. to light, included drugging our water supplies and controlling our media via mind control. But your military and intelligence agencies fought back. And I'm proud to report that once again... America has emerged victorious. However, Sweet. the price is dear. At this moment, millions of Americans are working hard and playing by the rules, unaware of the lingering toxic pollutants in their minds. To combat this lingering menace, we have set up testing centers across the nation, at shopping malls, local schools, even churches. <laughs> the test is simple and painless. Why, our family had it just this morning, and I'm back at work. Doris is in the kitchen baking brownies, and little Billy's out playing tag in the rose garden right now. It's completely safe. So, trust your government. Trust your president. Good night, and God bless America. If Obama said that today, I think I'd throw my Xbox controller at my TV. <laughs> Step inside, citizen. You sure this thing is safe? Step inside, citizen. Jeez Louise, I don't know. Hey, buddy, you heard the president. If it's good enough for him, it's good enough for us. Biff yeah! Santa. Yeah! Well, I guess a test couldn't hurt. Hey, McFly, your fly's down, McFly. Oh, you're so gullible, McFly. <laughs> that guy getting inside is McFly. No, it's the guy who calls him a slacker. <laughs> well, all in a day's work, Mr. President. Let's look at that tie in the mirror. Wait a minute, something's fishy here. It's not the President! It's Crypto! <laughs> like shooting monkeys in a barrel. <laughs> so those aren't test sites, it's for experimentation. And so, the world breathes a sigh of relief. 
the threat of alien invasion proved a false alarm. As for those who scan the skies for a real visit from outer space, they may be in for a very long wait. Perhaps the lesson is that we should turn our gaze inward, remembering that man's worst enemy is often himself. <laughs> Those are creepy words by a creepy man. <sighs> well, that's it. The end. And then there's the question mark, which is the lead, the is question mark is the segue into the second game, so. Well, that's it for Destroy All Humans. Here is the entire team from Pandemic. Let me turn this down. It's loud. So, Destroy All Humans is a pretty good game. It's definitely a change from typical alien games where the goal is to kill aliens. In this game, the goal is to kill humans. So it's definitely an interesting concept for a game that came out, what, seven years ago? This game's seven years old, so it was really good when it came out, and I enjoyed it when I bought it for the first time. But I was getting kind of frustrated during the playthrough because your guy is kind of stuck. He can't really move that fast. Even with his jetpack, he kind of gets stuck, and when he gets shot by the enemies with the rocket launchers and the tank shots... It really sucks because he can't do much to defend himself from that. And you can't get your health up. You can't purchase more health for your for yourself or the saucer. So you're pretty much stuck. You're stuck moving like in this really, you know, your guy's weak the entire game. So you kind of, you have to rely on your own skills in order to combat the enemies in the game. So that's improved in the second game because you can buy upgrades. So I will be doing a playthrough of that tomorrow. So... You can look forward to it, you can listen to the music. There's Gary Scheinman who did the music for this game. He actually sent me a free piece of music. I think it was, what, two years ago he did that? He sent me a free piece of music because the soundtrack's not released for this game. So, uh, I'm sure THQ will never ever release it because they're going out of business. I'm sure they won't trust a soundtrack for an old seven year game to save them from their corrupt standings. <laughs> Definitely good, a good alien game. I have to say, I love the story of this game. This game had a great story. It wasn't necessarily the fact that Crypto was killing all these humans. It was the fact that the, it kind of fit the theme of humans being afraid of aliens, afraid of communists in this era, and it kind of almost brought you back to that 1950s period, but still kept it pretty modern with the jokes, so... So I definitely enjoyed this game. I enjoyed playing it again for a playthrough for you guys. <sighs> All right. So Destroy All Humans 2 will be coming tomorrow. Eventually, it will. So just be patient. I'll start it tomorrow at some point, and we'll go from there. <laughs> Special thanks to Rosenberg and everyone else who did nothing in the of this game. All right, THQ. Yes, you'll be out of business in two more years. Okay. Saving game. Autosave successful. You have finished a story campaign. New B-movie showing. New Furon Furigonomy item unlocked. New propaganda item unlocked. So, that's it. Now you can go to any area, any location in the game, and basically just kill more humans. You could go to Pox's lab and buy some upgrades. Just what you need, my muscle, and the most gullible of grease. Oh, and I suppose you expect me to just hand over upgrades. If you want saucer upgraded, you have a Greek if you don't eat your meat. You can't have any pudding. What? That was weird. Alright, we're done with Destroy All Humans 1. I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. Tomorrow will be Destroy All Humans 2. Not done with the series yet, and not done with Alien Week yet, so look forward to that footage. And, uh... If you haven't seen the previous videos in this series, 
stay tuned, and they'll be up.